Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Farmer George. On today's episode, I'm reviewing this seed pod cover for your Aero Garden, and these were made by Urban Hydroculture. And what they're supposed to do is prohibit light from reaching the rock wool cubes in your Aero Garden units to prohibit algae growth. So that's what this episode's about. Let's go see how well they work. So here we are at the Aero Garden unit, and this is an Aero Garden harvest. It's the one that's meant for growing herbs, but I decided to grow peppers in it. If you want to see how I converted my Aero Garden harvest to grow peppers, I'll put a link in the comments below, and I'll also put the link to the video at the end of this video so you can convert your Aero Garden harvest once you've done uh, the herb thing for a little bit. You can actually grow peppers really easily. This is like a set it and forget it kind of thing. I already have a uh, flower buds growing here and it's only been just over two months since I uh, started these in the Aero Garden. But this episode is all about these seed pod covers that Evan from Urban Hydroculture gave me. They just clip on super easy and uh, I'll show you how that works. I've already set up the peppers. I put three little pepper seeds in here, three to four, I can't remember. Again, in my previous video, you'll be able to see how to set those up. So they just pop in right like that. And then the seed cover is super easy, super easy to use. You just pop it on and it clips right on like that. And when you get your Aero Garden, they give you these seed domes and that's to keep the humidity in to help uh, expedite the germination process. And they just go straight on top. So my only suggestion to Evan is there's no little lip that these can clip onto. I think it'd be pretty cool if uh, somehow you could create um, a little lip so that you know, if you bump your Aero Garden, um, these these little uh, seed domes won't pop off. Otherwise, super easy design. Uh, they cover up a lot of the rock wool. These pepper seeds I've chosen germinated for me last year in eight days. So that's why I chose them as my pepper seeds to use in this experiment. So hopefully in about a week, a little over a week, we'll see some germination uh, with little to no algae growth on the rock wool cubes that are inside uh, holding the seeds. So we'll be back next with an update and hopefully we won't have much algae at all. So guys, it's been 17 days later. It's March 28th and we sowed these seeds on March 11th and I haven't seen what's underneath these seed pod covers. So I wanna show you in uh, real time to see what we got going on and see if we limited the algae growth underneath these seed pod covers. So I'm gonna pop them off and then we'll get a closer look. So I just want to show you a little functionality of these seed pod covers. They're really bendable and they're easy to get off without disturbing your plant. This one didn't germinate so I kept the dome on top still. I'm just going to pop that one off. And pop this one off. And this one just germinated a couple days ago. I didn't even see it until today. So let's take the camera off the stand and we'll get a closer look. And there is no algae on the first one. There's no algae on the second one. There's no algae on the third. There is a tiny bit of algae in the front right there. So three out of four is pretty good with no algae growth and very little compared to my last video. If you've been following along with my channel, I actually had an update for 17 days as well in that video. And the chili manzanos that sprouted in the Aero Garden were riddled with algae growth and were so slow growing that the algae actually choked them out. And I had to replace this chili manzano rock wool cube with the little plant that actually grew and germinated outside of the Aero Garden because that one didn't have any plant food to feed any algae. So that one was algae free and that's what the plant you see growing today over there. Uh, I actually had to trash the other one. So... This is great news because you don't have to do that. You can just germinate your plants directly in the Aero Garden and these seed pod covers seem to do the trick. The one hitch in this plan is when I did my other video, I didn't have any mature plants in the background. So these two plants are blocking 
some of the light getting to these little seedlings down here and the rock bowl cubes. So that could be attributing to slowing down any algae growth as well. But I've been in constant contact with Evan and he's updated these seed pod covers a little bit to decrease the hole size here. So covering more surface area of the rock wool and he's actually made them made more slits. So this kind of looks like a, a cog um, or a gear, if you will. So that helps in the flexibility. And once the plants get mature and their stems get a little bit bigger, they can actually push this plastic out a little bit better and it's a little less rigid. He uh, decreased, he decreased the, uh, the width of, or the height of this uh, seed pod cover, so it's even more flexible. Evan's a great guy, and uh, he takes uh, constructive criticism really well, and he's updated it since this cover. So I don't have those covers today, but I can't wait to get my hands on them because they're gonna be even better than the covers you see here. I'll put his handles down in uh, the description of this video and uh, you can reach out to him to see what exciting new things he has and follow his account to see all the new things that he's creating with his 3D printer all relating to hydroponics. I give these um, seed pot covers uh, a thumbs up and I definitely recommend them and the other benefit is you can reuse them. Unlike the paper ones that come with your Aero Garden, those will get wet, they'll wear out, these won't. So they're great, reusable, I give them thumbs up and uh, highly recommend you guys, if you're using Aero Gardens, to go get yourself some of those. That's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'm Farmer George. Let's share and grow together.